Hey everyone, Harvey from Elixir Node here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to advertise your Minecraft server so you can go from having this to having this. Now, I think we can all admit that playing Minecraft single player can sometimes be boring. However, when you're feeling bored, the Minecraft community comes through to help you using Minecraft servers. Now, I'm going to presume that if you're watching this video, you either own a Minecraft server already, or you're looking to create one and you just want to know how to get more players. And unfortunately, it's going to take quite a bit of persistence and hard work as advertising is hard, especially for servers with lower amounts of players. However, do not fear, because getting players can be achieved and you could even get hundreds of players if you have the proper knowledge, which I am going to be telling you today. Also, before we start, if you're looking for the cheapest and best Minecraft server hosting on the market, make sure to check out our Minecraft server hosting, which will be linked in the description, so you can spend more money on advertising and less money on server bills. I think that the best way to advertise your Minecraft server would be by putting it on a server list. And this is because lots of people get new servers from server lists. And if you're ranked in like the top 10 of these server lists, you'll get thousands of new players every single day. So it's even essential to put it on there now. There's loads of popular server lists like this one and this one. However, to get the most out of this technique, it's best to post your server on as many lists as possible as you'll get a massive outreach of players. On most server lists, you can vote for servers daily so they get boosted in the rankings. However, no one's gonna voluntarily go and do these for you. So you must give them an incentive. You can do this through using plugins such like voting plugin to give them rewards or perks every time that they vote for your server. And this will actually create a feedback loop as they will go to vote for your server every single day to get these rewards. I actually used to use this myself um, and I got like 1,400 votes in a few months which really did help my server. But remember firstly and most importantly, you must have a server that players are going to want to vote for, as if your server does disappoint players, they're not going to bother waiting the day for the rewards. So make sure that you provide the best experience possible for a new player. Now, you're probably wondering how you stand out amongst the crowd of thousands and thousands of Minecraft servers, and there's actually an easy and effective way to do this, but unfortunately it costs money. And that is um, that the server list will do paid sponsorships to place you at the top of their server list without actually having to do anything. This alone would make you as visible as possible because as soon as someone goes onto their site, they're going to see you and you'll have an influx of players joining your server daily straight away. But as I said, this does cost money, so if you don't have a high budget, it's probably worth going for something else. On YouTube, the Minecraft community is huge. There are thousands of YouTube channels that present lots of different aspects of the game. These YouTube channels are an absolute great way for you to start advertising your server and paying these YouTubers a small amount should be just enough to kickstart the process because YouTube videos on there permanently and you'll literally continue to get players forever. However, if you want to go even further and help your server grow at an exponential level, make sure to pay attention to these details here. The YouTuber that you pick will most likely want to have someone at, with at least 20,000 to 50,000 subscribers and you must specify to that YouTuber to put your YouTube ad in a video that isn't going to become irrelevant over time so like videos that aren't about recent news or something like that and instead urge them to put your sponsorship in a different type of video that you know will be relevant for a long time and also ask them to play on your server because that will create much needed hype so people will join but make sure to have a great hosting plan or the server won't be able to handle them amount of players <laughs> so we just discussed how youtube sponsorships may benefit you but that obviously costs quite a bit of money. So we've come up with more accessible and a free solution. And that solution is to create a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel that you create can cover any topic that you think is relevant to help your server to grow. And if your views do start going up, the number of players joining your server will also go up. It's a win-win situation. Having a YouTube channel also has other perks, such as the ability to live stream events that you do and many other things to grow your channel and server. This might not seem to help a lot, but if you get a decent subscriber count, there will be a significant influx of players. There's also forums, which are probably the easiest and cheapest way to get players onto your Minecraft server, as loads of players, including myself, look on the internet to find new servers to play on, and if they find yours, you're going to start getting players. It's actually a really simple task to do. So like when you're on these forums and you see someone looking for a new server, recommend your server and post them an IP for them to join through. And the most popular websites to do this on are places like Reddit and Quora and loads of other servers actually already do this. 
to gather new players, and it's quite effective, obviously. But you need to make sure that you are extremely persuasive so you stand out from all of the other Minecraft servers on there. There's another way also that I've actually done myself, and that's through social media, because that is a great way to grow your Minecraft server, as there's such an abundance of Minecraft players, and it's so simple to do. You should create an account after your server name and start promoting it through posts and other things like stories. This requires absolutely no money and it helps promote to thousands of possible players for free. However, it might take some time to get some momentum, but as soon as you start gaining followers, it'll start to get a lot easier. However, at the start, it's best to use different hashtags and high quality images to attract players to your page. You can also post memes to keep your followers engaged and encourage them to also join your server. A lot of servers use things like referral systems and you've probably seen them before and every central platform that deals with money has one. For example, you send a link to your friend to install this app, he downloads the app and you get rewarded. It's the oldest trick in the book, but it works every single time. For a Minecraft server, simply let everyone in your server know about your referral system and to give them an incentive to bring more players in and give them special rewards for doing so. This will create a chain of free advertising and you'll end up with loads of players. And the rewards that you can give out should be in-game so you don't have to spend extra money. So everyone is happy. This next one actually links really well to the social media one that we had a minute ago. Uh, and that's through advertising your Minecraft server through ads on like Facebook and Google. As they have billions of users logging in every single day. Unfortunately, the amount that they charge for advertising is quite small. And that's especially if you're targeting a niche audience like Minecraft. Facebook and Google ads can be effective and you'll get a good number of players by paying for the ads. But if you want the best out of your deal, you can hire a freelancer who deals with ads for these platforms. And supposedly, they're apparently quite cheap. The reason why this isn't completely recommended is because it costs money to do so, and not every server owner has enough cash to put ads up for their Minecraft server. And in the beginning, you will need to save as much money as you can, so try find an amazing and cheap Minecraft hosting site. <clears throat> Anyways, in conclusion, how hard you advertise or how great your ads are will not matter if players will leave your server if it isn't good enough and up to expectation. So firstly, make sure you have a great server running and have many features unlike any other. And if you need help running a server, I made a separate tutorial also linked in the description. Or you can contact our support team with the link on screen and also in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial and goodbye.